I want to bring an epidemiologist, and ABC News medical contributor, Dr. John Brownstein, for more on this. Dr. Brownstein, good morning. More than 106 million Americans have now gotten at least one dose of one of the vaccines, but case numbers are still climbing. So how many people need to be vaccinated to stop this rise in cases? Yeah, good morning, Diane. It's really amazing. I mean, we're now at 40% of adults with at least one dose of the vaccine. Nearly one in four are fully vaccinated. So we're really hitting our stride now at 4 million doses a day. But think about this. We've been talking about herd immunity for months. About 70 to 80% is that sort of critical threshold. So about 250 million people. So at this pace, we're looking about a couple months for adults, all adults to get their first shot. I think by the end of May, we, we should really be there. But remember, this is not just about the adult population, you know, the older elderly population. This is about younger adults. We know these are the ones that are contributing to the spread and still have some level of vulnerability. And of course, as we mentioned, there's this concern about the rise variants and the increasing transmission of cases. So we need to get that vaccine rolled out to, to make sure that we're not creating new variants in populations. Um, and we also have to remember, we're going to have increased hesitancy in the population soon. Supply is going to outstrip demand. And so we really have to be focused on building that confidence on those people that are sort of waiting and seeing. If we're going to get to that herd immunity, you know, we, we need to get all adults on board with this vaccine. And what exactly is this double mutant variant. Why does it pose more of a threat? Yeah. Yeah, I know this double mutant term probably conjures up a lot of fear, uh, unfortunately. And this is a new variant that was first detected in India and now uh, seen in Northern California. It has two sort of key mut mutations, one which is on the spiky protein where the virus latches onto. So that is concerning. Overall, mutations will build up as we have more transmission in the community. And, you know, the concern is these mutations lead to more contagiousness, can evade the body's defenses around the vaccine, especially. And the concern is when you look at India and they've had, you know, this double mutant variant, which these are not new mutants, but together that's new. India has seen over 100,000 cases reported in the last 24 hours. And so they're on par with the U.S. and Brazil in terms of really, you know, a pandemic that has gone out of control. So that's a concern. And India's actually done quite well with the vaccine at 3 million doses a day. So that's a concern we have. We don't want to see a variant start to evade a vaccine. Now, at the moment, we, have, we shouldn't have any concern about that. Var vaccines do appear to work against the variants. But, you know, this is why getting that vaccine out right now is so critical. Yeah, and the Texas Rangers will host the largest crowd for a U.S. sporting event since the pandemic began. We heard there from Kaylee more than 40,000 people could attend. They say they're taking precautions, though. So does this event concern you or could this be kind of the opening door to us getting back to larger events safely? Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned, I have to say. I mean, this comes after Texas, you know, did away with mask mandates and said to fully reopen. And we've been saying a lot, you know, it's about slowly reopening. It's not just about going full, you know, full open. And that's a problem here because, you know, of course, you know, they have masking, but what about social distancing, normal testing? They do have some distance seating, but, you know, if you're eating and drinking in your seat, you're not wearing your mask. And yes, outdoors is safer, but you have a lot of people together. And as we know, in this, in this country, and especially even in Texas, we still don't have this pandemic under control. The cases have come down, but test positivity rate is still over 5%. And only 28% of Texans have received that first dose, only 16% fully vaccinated. So it's not really a time to be you know, fully opening these stadiums. I think having you know, that sort of measured reopening makes sense. And in fact, CDC still is just recommending people you know, watch these events from home. So we're not quite at the point where we should be seeing these full events at full capacity just yet. All right, Dr. John Brownstein, always great to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.